Hello and welcome to Business Reporter Small Business Campaign hosted by The Telegraph Online. I'm Alistair Greener and today I'm going to be talking to Suzanne Pollock from Henley Business School about how organisations can get the best from their people. Good morning. Good morning. Now we often hear this phrase, don't we, that people are the centerpiece of a, an organisation. Yet you also hear leaders say that they're disappointed with their staff. So what's going wrong? Yeah, it's a really good question. I think part of it is with leadership. So part of it is if I'm not being involved, if I don't know where the company's heading, if I'm not feeling I understand my part, my cog in their big wheel, that is disempowering. And I think equally, if I'm not taking responsibility for thinking about where do I want to be in this organisation, what do I want to contribute, and what skills do I need, and therefore making sure I invest in my personal development, both can contribute to a lack of performance. So with this personal development, why should an organisation actually invest in someone's personal development? If you don't invest in someone's personal development, you're going to end up running your business with 15, 20-year-old computers or even typewriters and nobody wants to do that, so why would you want to do that with your most expensive asset, your people? So is there a bit of a skills deficit when it comes to leadership and management? I think that people don't always understand the difference between leadership and management. I think people are much more comfortable, so that would be team members and leaders, are more comfortable doing things, being busy. I think we live in a world of culture of busyness. But actually, if you take the time to, to stop and think about what you're doing, then you want to be doing it in a, in a rather different way and being more thoughtful about how you do it. So how can the Henley Leadership Programme help? I think when you come on the Henley Leadership Programme, you get three things. You get a very personal journey. You get a very uh, pragmatic journey, which I think is important for people and it empowers you in the long term. So I think those are the three things. So, so what do I mean by that? What I mean is that with the personal journey, if you come on the program, you get lots of one-to-one -one time where someone's prepared to walk in your shoes with you. They're not gonna preach to you, but they're gonna help you to think about things maybe through new eyes, take on new tools and techniques, and generally open up horizons for you. On the pragmatic front, we don't sit and talk to people. We also like to say we don't use many, if any, PowerPoints. It's a conversation where you can actually enjoy the activity, enjoy the conversations, learn tools and techniques from different people, both from other program members and from us. We, 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 see, we like to think we're experts, and it was nice you introduced me as an expert, but we don't act as experts. We act as facilitators, guides. And then the empowerment piece is when I pick up these tools, I don't have to leave them at the door when I go. I take them with me. And it's more of a way of being and an attitude of mind. We don't believe there's one right way of being your best leadership self. So we, we give you those tools, you pick and choose them, and you have them for life. So if I go on your leadership program, what am I going to be like afterwards? What are the changes I'm going to see? OK, so it's a, another really good question. I think. What you'll find is many different things. So you'll find some people really improve their networking. A lovely example of a lady who, having realized that actually me getting to know you is really good for us working together, you have other people that say, do you know, I feel confident to say no, or I'm confident of the direction I'm heading in. Delegation is another big one. I like to do everything myself, but I've suddenly recognized that other people like to do things, and if I let them do them and actually help them, that works really well. And then if you go big, you actually have people seeing different opportunities um, for their business, which literally make that business millions. Well, it's been really interesting finding out more about the leadership programme at Henley Business School. Suzanne Pollock, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.